Question number 11 says that velocity vector and the acceleration vector in uniform circular motion are related. Both are in the same direction, both are perpendicular to each other and both are in opposite direction or both are in at acute angle. A dear student, in uniform circular motion, there is an acceleration toward the center of the circle, radial or the centripetal acceleration and the velocity particle is tangent to the circular path. And the angle between the velocity and the acceleration vector in this case is 90 degree. So, correct answer is option number 2 that both are perpendicular to each other. The question number 12 says, a motor car is traveling at 60 meter per second on a circular or road of radius 1200 meter. It is increasing its speed at a rate of 4 meter per second square, the magnitude of acceleration of the car. My dear student, the speed increasing with time that is tangential acceleration so which is given 4 meter per second square and you know on a circular path there is one acceleration towards center the radial acceleration which is equal to 60 into 60 square divided by radius is 1200 so this comes to be 3 meter per second square now what is the resultant acceleration magnitude that is equal to ac square plus 80 square root because both acceleration are perpendicular to each other so, AC was equal to 3, whereas tangential acceleration is 4. So, this comes to be 5 meter per second square. I look at the option. The option second is 5 meter per second square. Therefore, answer is 2 to this question. Now, question number 13. An insect trapped in a circular groove of radius 12 centimeter moves along the groove steadily and completes 7 revolution in 100 second. The linear speed of the insect. My dear students, what do you find? This is the circle with the radius given 12 centimeter and 7 revolutions are completed and the time is given equal to 100 second. Now, how much the distance total covered in 7 revolution? 7 into 2 pi r. And the speed, the linear speed is equal to the distance divided by the time taken. The distance is 7 into 2 into pi into r. Divided by the time, the time is 100 second. Let's cancel out. 2 into 22 divided by 100. If you solve, this comes to be... 5.3 centimeter per second. So, the correct answer is option number 1. Let us go to question number 14. The magnitude of the displacement of particle moving in a circle of radius r with constant angular speed omega varies with time t. These are four options. And uniform circular motion. This is the initial position vector r1. Then after some time, the particle is here with final position vector r2 and turn through certain angle delta theta which is equal to omega into t. Look at the displacement of the particle this will be the displacement and you know what is the displacement that is equal to r1 square plus r2 square minus 2 r1 r2 and cos of the angle delta theta root r1 r2 has the same magnitude this would be r square plus r square minus 2 r square and cos delta theta root so delta r in value become equal to 2 r square 1 minus cos of delta theta root and use that entity 2 r square this is 2 sine of square delta theta by 2 and that become equal to 2 r sine of delta theta by 2. And you know delta theta was equal to omega t. So, this become equal to delta r is equal to 2 r sine of omega t by 2. And your option second is 2 r sine omega t by 2. The correct answer option is 2. Let us move to the next problem. The question number 15 says a particle is moving along a circular path with uniform speed. Through what angle does its angular velocity change 
when it completes half of the circular path. This is a circular path and when the particle moves on a circular path, then its angular velocity is along the axis of rotation which will be directed up in this case. And when particle move from here through at an angle of 180 degree, it is here, but the angular velocity has the still the same direction. There is no change in direction. Therefore, the answer should be the fourth option. So let's move to the next problem. 